Okay, so I'm shooting for Social Curator right now. You will see this in a future issue. But I want to chat a little bit about something that I had a conversation with with our videographer, with my business partner and husband, JD. And we talk about how everybody has something to sell. But today I want to chat about three free pieces of advice and things to do that could radically change your business. And I could speak from experience because I applied the principles and then my life got flipped upside down. Kind of like French Prince of Bel-Air, but not as cool. So let's get into tip number one. The first tip that I would recommend to revolutionize your business would be to find your tribe. This is a small group of people who just know you really well. Why do I feel this way? I sometimes call a small group of tribe like your family or a really small gang. So why is it important? Number one, accountability. They will keep you accountable to do the thing that you say you're gonna do. Other people might coddle you or give you a way out. Not these homies. They're gonna say, you said you were gonna do X on this date, we're gonna hold you to that. Number two, your tribe, your small gang, your like business family, they hold you to your expectations. They manage those expectations. Like, what is it that you wanted to go? Not only do they ex like manage those expectations, they expedite it. They're like, oh, hey, did you think about it this way? Can I help you this way? Oh, hold, sh slow your roll, we can go this way. They expedite your learning curve as well as manage those expectations. These people also speak your language. So accountability, expediting the learning curve, and speaking your language. You know when people tell you like, gosh, that's all you talk about. When you're around these people, you could be 100% yourself. Now let's get into point number two, which is a little basic, and you might think it's elementary, but I'm telling you, it's a game changer. Tip number two is to get out in public and do what you do. Are you a photographer? Go out with your camera and shoot. Are you a painter? Set up an easel in a public space and paint. Are you a musician? Go out and play your music. You're not getting out there to book a job, you're getting out there to be seen. Perhaps you're like a life coach or a business coach. What about the possibility of showing up at PTA meetings or church organizations and volunteering your time and just say, hey, I'm here for an hour. When people can see you doing what you do, they will then turn into customers. Oftentimes people wanna see before they buy. This is your opportunity to show up, which leads me to my third and final point, which is to show up. I know it seems really basic, but let me tell you, for a long time, people criticized the way that I wrote, the way that I took photos, the way that I showed up on video. And you wanna know what? I continued doing it. I just showed up. I am not the ta most talented, I'm not the smartest, I'm not the wittiest, I'm not the fastest, I'm not the richest, but I'll tell you something. I take a hit and I keep on coming back. Why I win? I show up. It is an underestimated game changer. So those are my three tips that I know will absolutely revolutionize the way you do things. So number one, get your tribe, your family, your gang, have them support you. Number two, get out in public and do what you do. Volunteer, get seen. It is less about getting the job and more about getting seen, at least in the beginning. And number three, show up. Day in, day out, rain or shine, positivity or negativity, show up and your business will take off.